Summary of 12 months to $1 million. How to pick a winning product, build a real business, and become a seven-figure entrepreneur by Ryan Daniel Moran, written and narrated by Janky Mind. Introduction. The book 12 Months to $1 Million acts as a catalyst to help you establish a business generating seven figures in just a year. Through a blend of practical strategies and valuable insights gained through experience, the book empowers you, the aspiring entrepreneur, to be in control. This marks the beginning of your quest for financial freedom and accomplishments in the business realm. Have you ever pondered the requirements for constructing a million-dollar enterprise from the ground up? Maybe you've played around with a few concepts or initiated a small project on your own. However, attaining that coveted million-dollar milestone might appear as an imposing summit in the distance. Visualize a scenario where, instead of ascending a steep and perilous incline, there exists a well-charted path to triumph, ready for you to initiate the initial stride. This path commences with an idea, driven by an unwavering determination to address a real-world issue, and ultimately leads to a viable and flourishing business. How might this alter your viewpoint? Within this audiobook, you'll gain insight into the overarching concepts required to navigate the entrepreneurial landscape and metamorphose your modest venture into a thriving million-dollar enterprise. It involves a journey characterized by resolute perseverance, astute tactics, and a profound comprehension of your target audience. You'll delve into pivotal stages like securing funding, preparing for product launches, and sustaining growth. Furthermore, you'll even contemplate the decision to either expand extensively or pursue acquisition. Are you prepared to seize the opportunity and initiate this voyage towards achievement? Let's commence. Chapter 1. Transform your aspirations into a legacy worth a million dollars. For many individuals, constructing a business that generates a million dollars may appear to be an unattainable dream. However, this notion deserves to be questioned. With sufficient determination and unwavering dedication, it is, in fact, achievable. The question then becomes, how can this be accomplished? How can one navigate the complexities of entrepreneurship? The answer lies in identifying a product or service that ignites your passion and comprehending the process of effectively bringing it to the market. To illustrate this point, consider the inspiring success story of Susie Batiz, a prime example of resilience and persistence. Despite encountering bankruptcy and failure along her journey, Susie remained undeterred in her pursuit of becoming an entrepreneur. She tackled an everyday predicament unpleasant bathroom odors. Through a series of experiments, Susie developed Poopory, an inventive solution that rapidly gained popularity. What's fascinating about Susie's journey is that it wasn't centered on inventing a product, rather, it revolved around understanding the target audience that would find it appealing. She precisely defined her audience, women seeking relief from awkward situations. Subsequently, she devised a means to connect with them, leading to remarkable success. This brings us to the primary lesson of entrepreneurship. It's not solely about the product. It's about serving the people you aim to help. In the early stages of Moran's entrepreneurial pursuits, he was not privy to this crucial insight. It took him a decade to realize that true fulfillment stems from serving others, transcending the mere act of selling products. His journey involved starting with modest online endeavors and seeking direction through entrepreneurial events, all driven by the desire to create meaningful impact. This leads to the second entrepreneurial lesson, address your own frustrations. If you encounter a problem that bothers you, chances are, others are facing it too. Devote your efforts to solving that problem and crafting a solution. Remember, the core of your business is people, not products. When you genuinely grasp the challenges faced by a specific group, you can build a brand that caters to their needs. This fosters customer loyalty, repeat transactions, and sets you apart from businesses fixated solely on transactions. 
Yet, don't allow the excitement of problem solving to lull you into complacency. Ahead lies a challenging journey, so you must embrace the third entrepreneurial lesson, be prepared to make sacrifices. The initial year of business might bring financial strain. You might need to forego a regular salary, reinvest every earned dollar, and make calculated decisions. This phase signifies exploration and learning the ropes. With a well-defined plan and a set timeline, you can evade the pitfalls of passive thinking and ensure your business progresses. In conclusion, erecting a million-dollar business is not an elusive fantasy. It entails nurturing the correct mindset, identifying your audience, establishing a resonant brand, and delivering value. Commence by tackling your own concerns, recognize the issues faced by those around you. Infuse your brand with a people-centric ethos. Embrace the hard work, confront challenges head-on, and progress step-by-step. Step. You'll be astounded at how, before you realize it, you're crafting not merely a business, but a million-dollar heritage. Chapter 2. Become a Master in Securing Funding and Orchestrating the Launch of Your Endeavor Entering the realm of entrepreneurship often entails navigating pivotal stages, acquiring essential funds and meticulously preparing for a triumphant product launch. Both of these phases are indispensable in their own right, contributing significantly to the overall prosperity of your venture. Let's commence with the funding aspect. A prime example of effective funding can be found in the Dollar Shave Club saga. Its journey initiated by seizing an opportunity to sell excess razors, yielding modest initial capital. As a consistent customer base was established, the generated revenue was channeled back into the business. The cyclical process of earning, reinvesting, and adapting strategies according to market responses formed the core of its approach to securing and managing funds. This blueprint of self-financing and progressive expansion is replicable by any aspiring entrepreneur, regardless of their business's magnitude or sector. However, funding transcends the mere infusion of money. It involves astute management of incoming revenue. An erroneous assumption persists that higher sales equate to higher profits. For instance, contemplate a small business trading in handmade crafts. If the pricing is excessively high, sales might dwindle due to the prohibitive cost. Conversely, setting prices too low could lead to quick sales but insufficient profit margins for business sustenance and growth. Hence, it's imperative to discover the pricing equilibrium that harmonizes sales volume with profitability, thereby fostering sustainable development. This revenue management process forms a pivotal component of business funding that must not be overlooked. Understanding that the funding phase might necessitate embracing uncomfortable decisions is vital. This includes the prospect of borrowing funds. Here, it's essential to recognize that not all debts are created equal. Favorable debt can yield substantial returns on investment, particularly when linked to predictable sales. If the notion of debt evokes unease, an alternative is to secure capital through external investors. Platforms like Kickstarter not only address immediate funding requirements, but also offer exposure and access to potential customers. Now, let's pivot to the phase of preparing for the product launch. This period demands meticulous groundwork and an acute comprehension of your target audience. A triumphant product launch hinges on cultivating an engaged and enthusiastic community ready to make purchases on launch day. A valuable lesson can be drawn from a yoga business that fostered an involved community via a Facebook page, sharing the journey of product development. Over time, this community was consistently updated with insights into the product's developmental journey, encompassing early prototypes to final refinements. This strategy engendered a sense of connection between the business and its audience, who felt personally invested in the product's evolution. The outcome was an impassioned community primed for purchase upon the official launch. This meticulous groundwork and audience engagement lay the foundation for a successful product launch. 
Recall that entrepreneurship constitutes a voyage rather than a destination. The objective is sustained expansion, attainable through judicious funding, meticulous launch preparations, and mastering the art of product introduction. Chapter 3, Understanding the Significance of Business Expansion Congratulations on the successful launch of your inaugural product. However, you've come to realize that a single product might not suffice to attain the coveted million-dollar milestone. So, what's the way forward? The transition from a singular product enterprise to a thriving million-dollar brand requires more than just introducing additional products. It involves a strategic fusion of market insights, customer engagement, and impactful partnerships. Let's delve into this concept using the experiences of entrepreneur Aubrey Marcus and his venture, Onnit. Prior to achieving success with Onnit, Marcus encountered a series of ventures that didn't pan out as anticipated. His introduction to nootropics, substances that enhance brain function, marked a turning point. Despite being a newcomer in this field, Aubrey committed to creating the world's finest nootropic supplement in a bold pledge to Joe Rogan, a renowned podcaster. This commitment fueled Aubrey's determination. Dedicating himself to research and product development resulted in Alpha Brain, a nootropic supplement endorsed by Rogan. Alpha Brain became on its flagship product, and Rogan's partnership, driven by Aubrey's commitment and the product's quality, led to its promotion on his podcast. This endorsement propelled the product's success, transforming on it from a small venture into a comprehensive human optimization company with an expanding product lineup. Nevertheless, building a brand that transcends a single successful product involves more than just crafting products and securing influential endorsements. It revolves around nurturing a community around your brand, engaging with customers, and heeding their feedback. As your brand flourishes, the significance of customer testimonials and favorable reviews becomes even more pronounced. These elements not only attract fresh customers, but also establish a sales mechanism that generates consistent revenue, a pursuit every entrepreneur should strive for. Ultimately, scaling towards a million-dollar business transcends mere multiplication of product lines or fixating on analytics. It hinges on comprehending the customer journey, enhancing customer experiences, and strategically introducing products, one at a time, to maintain momentum. The journey of Paul Miller, founder of Cozy Phones, offers inspiration. Rather than replicating existing products, Paul delved deep into understanding the distinctive requirements of potential customers. He identified untapped opportunities in niche markets, such as children and individuals with autism or sensory processing disorders, which had been largely neglected. This insight birthed Cozy Phones, a line of comfortable, wearable headphones tailored for these underserved markets. However, Paul recognized the need to advance further to genuinely serve his customers and expand his business. For his subsequent product, he harnessed what worked with Cozy Phones and adapted it to meet evolving customer needs. For instance, acknowledging a demand for headphones suitable for sleep or meditation, he developed a variation of Cozy Phones equipped with ultra-thin speakers and a breathable mesh lining. This product not only fulfilled a specific requirement, but also capitalized on the existing brand recognition of Cozy Phones. Paul's story underscores the potency of a customer-centric approach. His triumph wasn't the outcome of a flurry of new product releases, rather, it emanated from understanding customers, innovating to cater to their needs, and strategically launching new products that capitalized on the initial success. This exemplifies how a concentrated emphasis on the customer journey and a pioneering mindset can propel rapid business expansion. Chapter 4, The Dilemma, Expand or Hand Over If you've reached this juncture in your journey, you might be on the brink of attaining the elusive million-dollar milestone. If so, congratulations are in order, you've honed the craft of developing products, tapped into the pulse of your customer base, and evolved your business into a multi-product brand. 
Yet, now you stand at a crucial crossroads where the path bifurcates into two distinct directions, ascending the business to greater heights or preparing for a potential acquisition. The initial avenue to explore is scaling. At this juncture, with a consistent monthly revenue of approximately $100,000, entrepreneurs can contemplate reinvesting profits to fuel further expansion, potentially even deriving a personal income from the business and committing themselves fully to their venture. Consider the story of Jeremiah Klingman, the founder of Tribe Fitness. Upon achieving a stable revenue stream, he confronted a pivotal decision, maintain current operations or embark on an expansion journey. Jeremiah opted for the path of scaling. He initiated by identifying the unique value his company brought to the table, top-tier fitness products that garnered high praise from users. Ensuring this quality remained unwavering while reaching a wider customer base became paramount. Subsequently, he amplified his company's presence, reaching more customers while safeguarding the relationships he had meticulously fostered. He held customer feedback in high regard, utilizing it to continually refine his products, thereby preserving customer satisfaction throughout the period of growth. Simultaneously, he managed costs associated with production, marketing, and overheads with precision, ensuring that the surge in revenue outpaced the escalating expenses, resulting in heightened profitability. In essence, scaling encapsulates strategic growth, broadening the customer base, augmenting revenue, and enhancing profitability, all while preserving the distinct essence of your business. As Jeremiah's narrative illustrates, with a well-calibrated approach, scaling can propel a business far beyond the million-dollar benchmark. Conversely, a prosperous business boasting consistent sales might signify an opportune moment to contemplate an exit strategy, acquisition. This significant transition necessitates cautious navigation, aligning long-term aspirations with the decision to sell. Identifying the appropriate buyer who will sustainably nurture and augment your business is paramount. As a parting reflection on this entrepreneurial odyssey, it's vital to bear in mind that financial success does not automatically equate to personal fulfillment. The augmentation of your bank account mustn't overshadow the essence of your life's purpose. As you expand your company, aspire for personal growth and cultivate a gratifying life extending beyond monetary accomplishments. This approach safeguards against the pitfall of trading potential for monetary gain, a trap that could compromise both happiness and financial stability. Ultimately, the voyage to a million-dollar business takes the form of a marathon, not a sprint, a marathon characterized by resilience, strategy, and an unceasing quest for knowledge. Summary Developing a triumphant million-dollar enterprise encompasses several essential components. First and foremost, a profound comprehension of your target audience is paramount, coupled with the provision of solutions to their challenges and a consistent delivery of value. Initiating this journey entails cultivating an entrepreneurial mindset primed to tackle obstacles and make sacrifices. Significantly, a business's core should revolve around its people, transcending the mere offerings it markets. The trajectory of business growth encompasses pivotal phases, securing funds, orchestrating product launches, and fostering sustainable expansion, each necessitating shrewd decisions and astute market acumen. When the million-dollar threshold is achieved, two divergent avenues unfold, either scaling the business or preparing for potential acquisition. Moreover, entrepreneurs such as Susie Batiz, Aubrey Marcus, and Paul Miller serve as prime instances illustrating how a blend of tenacity, strategy, and unwavering customer orientation can culminate in remarkable success. Yet, it is imperative to bear in mind that the pursuit of financial triumph must not eclipse the pursuit of personal fulfillment. Striking equilibrium between personal development and business accomplishments is vital for a wholesome and gratifying journey. This audiobook summary was brought to you by Janky Mind. We hope you enjoyed it.